MD Prepper here talking about the advantages and disadvantages of the Taurus Judge line. Very popular line of handguns, uh, revolvers technically, that fire 45 long Colt and as a bonus, a 410 shotgun shell, either 2.5 inch or 3 inch. My version is the Public Defender, which is really more the snub nose version. Has a nice fiber optic sight up there up front, 5 round capacity. Um, a lot of good things about it, but let me start with the disadvantages. First of all, this is nothing but an oversized stub nose revolver. It's just a little longer and a good bit heavier. So, accuracy is pretty weak. Um, it's right up there with any other snub nose, at least when you're firing the 45 long colts out of it. Um, it's big. This is a big gun. It's heavy. Um, fairly wide, if you can see that there. Not very easy to conceal carry, especially due to the weight. Um, I've got a small 1911 that's going to be probably lighter than this thing um, with more ammo capacity. So, not my first pick by any means for concealability, just not that practical. Um, recoil on it is quite punishing, frankly. Uh, it's not so bad with 45 long holds, but you start shooting some triple op buck out of the uh, 410s, this gun hurts, even with the recoil reduction. It is not something you're going to fire a lot of rounds out of. So a lot of guys at gun shows buying these for their wives for a defensive weapon. Now, that's a very bad idea, especially when those wives don't have a lot of experience with handguns. Uh, you're probably better off giving her a 38 um, or any other number of choices other than this one. Um, just big and bulky, even in the smaller version. Um, just not that pleasant to shoot. It's not terrible, but it's not the first thing I'd want to train with. Certainly not something I'd want to go fire 50 or 100 rounds through. So. Beyond that, ammo is expensive. Very, very expensive. 45 long Colt is, I don't say it's difficult to come by, but it's difficult to come by good defensive calibers. You get plenty of cowboy loads and full metal jacket rounds, but when you start looking for actual decent hollow points, they're few and far between, especially with this ammo shortage we appear to be coming out of. Um, overall, the 45 long Colt is no more effective than your standard 45 ACP. So, Size for size, if you're just going to shoot long colts out of it, I'd go for a snub nose revolver's moon clips that fires 45 ACP. Ammo's cheaper, more compact weapon, lighter weight, uh, going to be a more effective carry weapon. The only place where this weapon shines, I'd say, is in the 410 caliber. When you've got a shotgun on you, you got a little mini shotgun with you that fires five rounds. Uh, some people do number four um, shot, like this one right here from the um, Greenville Ammo Supply. Grand Jury box set that I got at the Academy on sale the other week, so I figured I'd showcase that. Got it for, I think it was 16 bucks for for 20 rounds, 10 of each. Um, some people do triple lock buck or various other style loads. Um, Federal makes some very good loads for the judge. They group fairly well, but man, recoil is punishing. I don't see me getting five rounds off particularly effectively in quick order. Um, this is going to be an up close and personal gun. Again, the price of ammo is just ridiculous. You're not going to shoot this thing as much as you need to, in my opinion. I haven't shot it that much, um, just because, I don't know, didn't like it that much. It's reliable, didn't have any problems there, but the kick from that 410 is just not worth it. I'd rather have a 9, um, less chance of spread from the shots, hit somebody else, etc. So, uh, price on the weapon... Fairly reasonable. I got mine for three thirty-five, I think, back in the day. Um, not unreasonable cost-wise for a decent quality revolver. Um, I did actually upgrade and add a laser to mine. Not that I need that at all, but I guess in a high-stress situation in the dark, shooting um, shot and seemed fairly reasonable idea. Uh, for the primary purpose, I see this. Moving on to advantages of this weapon, I would say the number one advantage of this is making a hell of a car carry gun. Your glove box, your console, if you're allowed to do that in your state. Um, you don't have to worry about the size of this thing. It's certainly compact enough to use in the confines of a car or a carjacking situation or in and around your vehicle. Um, you know, 410 shell to the face of a bad guy trying to climb through your window. Man, that should be plenty effective. Uh, close enough range, don't have to worry about it not doing the job. And I've got follow-up shots if I need to. Um, some people talk about alternating rounds between the 45 and the shot shells. I wouldn't personally. Um, if I'm going to carry this, I'm going to carry all shot shells because that's just more punch than that 45. It just gives you that spread. and That's why you're carrying this thing, not for the 45 long Colt. Uh, that's kind of an antiquated round for cowboy action shooting, um, in my opinion. 
other place where I see this as an excellent choice is a trail gun, a good woods carry gun for snakes and other little small varmints, coyotes, those types of things. Maybe not black bear or wild hogs, but for a decent companion little pistol, just for self-defense out in the woods, nothing wrong with this. This would be a great choice, especially where you can open carry. A nice little Kydex holster, which is really for the longer barrel. It's a three inch or three and a half inch barrel. But, um, it's got the paddle on the back of it. Uh, just slip it onto your pants. Um, good to go. I also carry it in the glove box this very same way, so you can just very easily push the button, release the weapon, and you're good to rock and roll. Um, do what you need to do. Um, like I said, just for a general carry everyday weapon, I just wouldn't recommend it. Um, I tried it for a little while, just didn't like it. Too much, too much gun to carry, for whatever that's worth. Um, so, Taurus Judge, is it a good weapon? Yeah, if you need the niche market of a concealed carry gun for the car, i.e. glove box, console, or a hiking trail gun, I think it's great. For all other purposes, I'm not really sold on it. Uh, not my favorite choice for home defense, for a nightstand gun, anything like that. I'd rather have a 357 Magnum, frankly, um, or an actual shotgun um, for less money. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm not trying to knock it, I'm just trying to be realistic about the Taurus Judge and its limitations. Indie Prepper out.